sorry. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining us for the Ohio Association of College Admission Counseling College Fair. And um, we are so excited to have you with us. Just a few housekeeping items. First of all, you are in session A6. So you should be able to see the institutions you're going to be hearing from during this session. So we're very excited for you to be able to do that. Um, a few other housekeeping items. You have the ability to ask questions through Zoom. Just make sure you use that Q&A function. And I would suggest that you indicate exactly which institution or institutions you're wanting to hear from. That way you get the most accurate information for your specific question. We cannot see or hear you. And so using that Q&A function is going to be um, really the best thing for you to do to get that information. There are additional additional sessions happening this evening over the next couple of hours. And so you are more than welcome to sign up for those. And also you will be able to access recordings of this session as well as any others. And you'll be able to do that at strivescan.com slash Ohio. So without further ado, we are now going to hear from our first institution, which is the Pennsylvania College of Art and Design. Great, thank you very much. Hi everyone, my name is Tressa Varner and I am from the Pennsylvania College of Art and Design, and I'm going to just cue this up. I'm an admissions counselor, and okay, here we go. Just a little slow today. All right, so we are a four-year college. We offer Bachelor of Fine Arts or BFA degrees in animation and game art, fine art, graphic design, illustration, photography and video, and next year live experience design. We're located in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, which is the Eastern side of the state. Just a short train ride to the art mecca cities like New York City, DC, Philadelphia, and Baltimore. We are a small college or micro college, as we like to say, we have under 300 students. So our student to teacher ratio is 10 to one, which is really great because all of our faculty are working artists and designers in the field. So they're not only your faculty, but then they're also your mentors. So they give you a chance to find out what is it like when, to be an illustrator or a graphic designer. All of our studios are state of the art. Um, this is one of our digital imaging studios with Cintiq machines. We also have state of the art photography studios for lighting, product design, that type of thing. All uh, freshman students come in and they have a foundation year. This is a time for you to experiment with all new tools, new media, new processes, and really learn different perspectives in the different fields in the creative arts. So it's really, our goal is for you to build a strong artistic foundation to be successful for the rest of your four years of the school. Once you declare your, ma your major and your, tenth, uh, your sophomore year, you get to choose a minor as well. So if you're interested, you can say, for example, be a fine art major, but you may want to get a minor in graphic design or esports management. That will help to kind of diversify your, your jump into the real world and your field of study. So our majors, so animation game art is a very popular major at our school. Um, once you start your sophomore year, you're going to learn all the different aspects of animation and game art. Come your junior year, you're gonna dive into one concentration. So for example, you may wanna study environment, environmental modeling, character animation for film or character modeling for games. Current class highlights include drawing for animation, digital sculpting and story and screen. Another major is fine arts. This is more self-directed. So for example, you wanna be an artist that shows in galleries and museums. You're gonna explore both traditional 2D and 3D media, as well as digital imaging. So you're gonna be in some of the same digital courses with the animation majors. Class highlights include painting, 2D design, 3D design, media form and concept. Graphic design is another popular major. Here is where you use your design skills, your creative and, in, and innovative thinking skills to either sell a product or to move somebody to action. Current class highlights. This is an example of student work of product design. Class highlights include advanced web design, design for publication, motion graphics, or user interface design. Illustration is another popular major. You can either take the contemporary track, which is typography and pattern design, or a classical track, which is more representational painting, storytelling, you're really creating a narrative through the images that you make. Class highlights include illustrated word and visual storytelling and expressive figure. Photography and video is also a major. Here you're gonna use, you're gonna learn 
not only traditional, like the old school, go into a dark room and develop your film, as well as digital imaging making techniques. So you can either be a fine art photographer, showing in galleries and museums, or you can choose a commercial field like fashion photography or sports photography. Some examples include advanced lighting, photo techniques, and documentary um, video. Live experience design is something that's happening next year. It's, an, um, it's where you're more of a production manager. You're creating these large, really large scale concerts or halftime shows, for example. So you're, any kind of experience that's taking in all the senses. Lancaster, again, is a very, it's a nice small older city on the East Coast. And um, since we're a small school, we don't have traditional dorms, but we do have a housing and referral service that will help to set you up with the right apartment size. And if you want roommates, we help you choose your roommates. Here's some examples of some of our studio lofts, one and two bedrooms as well. Some more examples. So they get you all kind of ready to go. How do you get started? Just go to pcad.edu and start your application. You can go ahead and start your application. You may not have your portfolio or any of your transcripts ready. That just gets you into our system to where you can get then set up with a counselor like myself and we can help you finish your application. We do have a $40 application fee, but if you use this um, app now 2021, that's a code that we're giving everybody for free for a waiver. So you need a um, so portfolio is one of your most important pieces to submit for ap your application, eight to 10 pieces of your original work. You also have to uh, submit a personal statement, like an artist statement, and then your transcripts. We do not need SAT or ACT scores. So just join us at pcad.edu, check out the admissions um, web pages, and go ahead and start your application. Thanks a lot. Fantastic. Thank you so much um, to the Pennsylvania College of Art and Design You're for welcome. joining us. And just as a reminder to those joining in, you have the ability to ask questions. So please utilize that Q&A function um, so that you can get everything answered that you have questions on. And moving right along, we are now going to hear from Washington and Jefferson College. Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Karcher. I am the Senior Assistant Director of Admission here. It's really great to be speaking with y'all today. And of course, I will leave my email at the end should you all have any questions. I really look forward to getting any questions that you all might have as well um, afterwards. So just to kind of go through this, hopefully you all can see my screen. Um, so just to start, um, Washington and Jefferson College, of course, for those of you that are unfamiliar with their area, we are located in Washington, PA. That's Washington County right there in red. So you can see that this is the county and we are located in Washington. Pretty simple to remember. That's the name of the small city that we're in. And we're only about 30, 35 minutes south of Pittsburgh. You can see we're really close by to the city. And uh, we're also close by to a lot of other major cities as well. We have a lot of students that might do research opportunities or um, would like to travel throughout their time. So you can see we're close to a lot of other cities. And of course, we're only about six hours from Charlotte, two and a half hours from Columbus, Ohio, and about two and a half about close to two and a half hours from Cleveland too. So really close by to a lot of major cities. And of course, for those of you that have never been to Pittsburgh, this is the city of Pittsburgh right here. We're known as the city of bridges. You can see here that there's a trolley that actually takes you to a really beautiful overview of the city of Pittsburgh as well. So if you haven't been there, definitely be sure to check it out. It's a wonderful city to really explore and learn more about. So this is just a little bit about what our students have done in Pittsburgh. So we have a lot of students that will do internship or research opportunities here at Washington and Jefferson College. A lot of our students that also graduate end up with jobs in some of these companies as well. We have a lot of students that have interned, you know, with the Pittsburgh Penguins, PNC Bank, um, and those students actually end up graduating and working at those places as well. I'll talk a little bit more about the success that our students have after they graduate a little bit later on. Just a little bit about our history. So Washington and Jefferson College was founded in 1781. And uh, there was a, essentially how Washington and Jefferson College came to be. They're originally two separate colleges, Washington College and Jefferson College. And ultimately what happened was, is that during the Civil War, enrollment was declining at both schools and each school decided to do a fundraiser. And whoever raised the most money would have that college join with theirs. So of course, Washington College won. Um, so Jefferson College joined with Washington College to, of course, become Washington and Jefferson College. And our course, as you may know, our nickname is the Presidents. 
So this is just a little bit about our students and our liberal arts education that we have. So you can see we do have relatively small classroom sizes. On average, it's about 13 to 14 students. And you can see here that a lot of our faculty do hold terminal degrees here. And we do have a really small student to faculty ratio here as well. This is our list of majors. We do have 32 majors and 34 minors here at Washington and Jefferson College. We're really well known for our health and law program. So we have over a 90% acceptance rate into our medical and uh, law programs. So it's very high success rate. And a majority of our students that do graduate are in fact doctors or lawyers as well. So they do end up finishing out as well. Other than health and law, we do have a lot of students that are of course interested in any of our sciences, our business programs and psychology. Psychology is another big one and you see a lot of our students that graduate from that program that will continue their education there as well. And you can see we do have some other pre-professional programs. Of course, as I mentioned, we do have the health and law program. So our students will pursue any of those sciences or political science. We do have a 3-2 engineering program where a student can pursue a math or a science of their choosing and then go to any of our partner schools to select an engineering degree of their choice. We do have ROTC here as well. ROTC, what is involved that we do have Army, National Guard, and Air Force. Those are the ROTC programs that we currently offer with a partnership. So this is our Magellan project. Uh, we do have an amazing study abroad opportunity uh, study abroad programs that students can be a part of. And Magellan is an opportunity where students based off of their major or minor can conduct their own research. So they get to decide where they wanna to travel to. And also, you know, they come up with their plan, they decide where they wanna to travel to and what they like to study. And if w &J approves it, they will cover a majority of your cost, including your travel, which is an excellent opportunity to take advantage of, not only for the experience, but it's also a great way to build your resume as well. And you can see here, we have a number of examples of our students um, that have gone, you know, you could stay in the US as well. You could see we have students that rehabilitated racehorses in Kentucky, but we had a student uh, two summers ago before COVID hit that traveled to Africa to study environmental science and weather patterns there. So there's a lot that you're able to take advantage of here at Washington and Jefferson College. This is a little bit more about our study abroad program. So you can see we have over 35 study abroad opportunities that students can choose from. And nearly half of our students travel. It's just over 40% now at this point. We do have J-Term, which is abbreviated travel that we have in January, where students travel between 10 to 14 days. And then there's also semester-long trips that students can take advantage of as well. If your major doesn't really have a lot of study abroad opportunities, you can still take a study abroad semester. That's definitely important. If you want to travel just for the sake of traveling, students could take advantage of that here at Washington and Jefferson College. At w &J, there's a lot to be a part of. We do have over 70 active clubs and organizations here on campus. We have some really unique clubs from intramural sports to a ski club to an equestrian club. So there's a lot to be a part of here. I did mention intramural sports. We are a division three program with 26 division three varsity programs. Um, so if students are interested, they may sometimes get, you know, be reached out to, or they reach out to coaches as well if they're interested in playing athletic programs here. And finally, these are some of the programs that we do offer here at Washington and Jefferson College that really help students navigate and uh, really help them get involved and help them find that internship or research opportunity or even find employment or helping them continue their education after they graduate. So that's really important. We do have a lot of support roles that uh, w &J offers to our students. And then finally, this is just a little bit about our success. What I always like talking about, you can see we do have over that 90% acceptance rate into our health and law programs. But one of the big things is that 97% of our students that graduate um, within the last two years now are full-time employed, are in graduate school, or some form of medical or law school within six months. That's incredibly high, and we hope that obviously continues to get to 100%, but you can see that our students are very well equipped as they continue on um, after they graduate from Washington and Jefferson College. Finally, the last two things, of course, we are a free application. There is no charge for applying to Washington and Jefferson College. Um, the only other item that we require is high school transcripts. Even before COVID, we were a test optional school. Um, so it's a great opportunity to take advantage of. So if you are interested, again, please feel free to apply. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you so much to Washington and Jefferson College for joining us. And again, just as a reminder um, to those joining in, please utilize the Q&A function if you have any questions. Our, our representatives are also able to send you links as well through the chat function. So um, if anybody wants to do that, you're more than welcome to as well. We are now going to hear from Chatham University.
Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Alyssa Bixby, and I am the Assistant Director of International Admissions here at Chatham University, but I also work with our traditional first year students as well. So Chatham University is located in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So we are really, really close to um, the downtown area and a lot of career opportunities as well. But just so you know that we have two um, main campuses or Shadyside campus um, where the School of Arts, Science and Business classes and majors are located. Um, we were founded here in 1869 and an interesting fact, Andrew Mellon, this was actually his summer home. So there's a lot of renovated mansions and everything as for our res halls and everything like that. So it's really just a great historic feel on our campus. Um, and we also built Eden Hall campus. So this is built from the ground up and fully sustainable. And the programs that are here are sustainability, food studies, and as well as environmental science. So if you are interested, you can actually live out on this campus in Orchard Hall and um, experience more with sustainability. So our population here on campus is around 2,300 students. About 1,100 students are our undergraduate students. And that includes both our traditional and online students. Um, so, and we are one of the fastest growing colleges and universities in Pittsburgh. Um, Pre-COVID, um, we had a really record-breaking year. We had over 430 students actually come for our freshman year. So we are breaking just a lot of records here at Chatham. So we are introducing some new academic programs. So if you are interested, um, neuroscience, food studies, music technology, and our music business program. Um, but some of our recent additions and some of the more upcoming programs and more that are becoming more and more popular are immersive media. Um, this kind of deals with immersive um, virtual reality and augmented reality. Um, we have a spe special lab. Um, we have a facility called our East Side campus that houses everything with VR, Oculus, and everything like that. And you are actually giving uh, augmented reality um, software and equipment that you can use through your entire time here at Chatham. And we are introducing fully online psychology and business administration programs. So if you are interested in an online format, just let me know and we can um, get you into contact with our representatives. One of the good things about Chatham, we have what's called integrated degree programs. So you can actually complete both your undergraduate and graduate degree in as little as five years for most programs. So some of our most popular programs are psychology um, and you can actually go all the way through for your doctorate in counseling psychology. So if you are interested, you can actually finish that entire track in as little as six years for that specific program. Um, some of our other more popular are our environmental science. So you can actually go into sustainability and um, food studies. Um, those are kind of our more popular tracks as well. Um, but we have media arts and visual arts programs if you are interested for those five-year integrated degrees. And just so you know, for your financial aid package, you can actually use part of your undergraduate aid towards graduate level coursework, at least for the first semester of your graduate studies. So the application process is really streamlined. We are a test optional school now, so we are not requiring ACT or the SAT this year. We are really only requiring that you submit either um, your transcripts. Um, however, I know that we, while we don't require the essay and our letter of recommendation, we really do encourage you to submit that as well. We just wanna make sure that we know you as a student, especially when it comes time for scholarship purposes, we just want to make sure to get to know you as well as we can. So speaking of which are scholarships. So upon admission, you are granted either a 10 to $22,000 merit award. We also have academic scholarship days in which you can interview with faculty and you can earn an additional $3,000. Um, so we do have premier scholarships. However, um, you do, we do have February 1st deadline for most of those scholarships. And there's an additional requirement and you have to meet a certain GPA requirement as well. Um, and we are still not requiring the SAT or ACT, especially for the premier scholarships as well. So in addition, I do encourage um, 
you to do our study abroad program. So we do offer a $1,200 voucher for all students. So you can either do a 10 day trip or a semester abroad with any of our partnership schools as well, or even a year abroad. And if you complete an international study certificate, you can also be eligible for an additional $1,800. But just so you know, there's a lot of scholarship opportunities, even for study abroad as a current student. So I would really just take that opportunity to go and explore the world. Um, and of course, file the FAFSA as soon as you're able to on October 1st, um, just here for our school code. And we do one-on-one -on -one financial aid sessions with you, with your family, um, just to kind of go over that. So we really do go in depth with you on that process. And just so you know, we are a division three school. So if you are interested in playing competitively, um, we can get you into contact with our coaches. Um, typically they will reach out to you, but if you are interested, we can have you um, complete one of our recruit questionnaires. I will be available for any questions or answers, but feel free to take down this contact information um, and give us a call and schedule a visit with us. Wonderful. Thank you so much to Chatham University. And we are about halfway through our presentation. So um, please make sure that you send in those questions so that our reps have time to answer those for you. We are now going to hear from Gannon University. All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Kristen Amendola. I am one of our admissions counselors over at Gannon University. Happy to have all of you joining us tonight. And just a little bit of a brief background about Gannon and just exactly who we are. So we were founded back in 1925. We are a Catholic diocesan university. So that's absolutely a big part of our history. We were actually named after the Bishop of Erie, Pennsylvania, which is our location. His name was John Gannon. So that is where the name Gannon University stems from. So that Catholic root is definitely a big part of our history and who we are today. And then size-wise, we are on that small to medium range when it comes to the size and student population with a little over 4,000 students in total. 3,000 of those will be making up the undergraduate population and then about 1,000 graduate students as well. And as I mentioned earlier, so location, that's definitely gonna be a big one on your checklist as you're considering different factors and looking at different schools. So Gannon, we are located in Erie, Pennsylvania. We're actually located right in the heart of downtown Pennsylvania, so a very urban and unique campus when it comes to the um, actual setting and where the campus is located. So those overhead pictures that you see there are going to show you Lake Erie, which is right in our backyard, got the beach side of it and the bayfront, so a very beautiful and scenic area surrounding the campus. And then the other overhead photo with all the different buildings is downtown, so Gannon is going to be a part of that photo. and about five minutes walking distance from the lake right there. So very scenic, but also a lot of great things going on uh, professionally, recreationally, just all over the board. So on the recreational side of things, we have a theater district within downtown Erie, some minor league sports stadiums, the Bayfront and the beach, of course. So for those nature lovers, you'll have a lot of opportunities relating to nature and getting outdoors at your disposal and then sh some shopping as well. So a wide variety of different ways to have fun off campus, but still be possibly within a five minute walk. So really you might not even have to drive if you're looking to do some of these fun recreational opportunities. And then on the professional side of things as well, a lot of great opportunities downtown when it comes to internships, research opportunities, and then potential jobs down the road after you graduate. So for science, Definitely, we utilize having Lake Erie right in our backyard for freshwater marine biology research and for other science programs as well. And then for health science, we are very close in proximity to some nearby hospitals. The closest one would be UPMC Hammett Medical Hospital, only about a five minute walk from campus. So very ideal there. And then also just some engineering firms, small businesses, large businesses, all different things like that within the surrounding area. And on the academic side of things, so there are a wide variety of different degree types that you can receive from Gannon, everything from associate's degrees to the four-year bachelor degrees, which is the one that we have the most of, those four-year uh, bachelor degrees. We do have 64 of those. We have some pre-professional programs. We do have some affiliate cooperative professional school options as well. 
And then we also have 23 master's degrees and some doctoral degrees also. So a lot of different levels there and you can consider which one might be the best fit for you when examining what will get you to your next destination when looking at a future career. And then for the average class size in the actual classroom, it's only about 19 students on average. So definitely smaller class sizes where you'll get that nice individualized approach. Professors will know you by name. You'll know people in the classroom, get familiar with them, but still continue to meet new people day by day and as the semesters go on as well. And just going off of that, we have a 13 to one student to faculty ratio. If you are looking to apply to Gannon, we are on a rolling admissions basis. So if you were a current senior, you are still able to apply up until essentially the start of classes here in August. So you definitely have time, but um, yeah, rolling admissions. So you can really apply when you feel ready. For the application, we do have a free application on Gannon's website, and we are also a member of the common application. And for the test scores, I know this was a big one this year with COVID. So because of the pandemic, we did decide to go test optional for fall 2021 students. And we are looking to move in that same direction for fall 2022 and potentially for the incoming classes after that as well, where we'll essentially be test blind, where if you submit your ACT or SAT scores, they will not be reviewed for admission to Gannon. So the main factor that we're gonna look at when applying is your official high school transcripts. That's gonna be the main one that we'll be reviewing. And we also review letters of recommendation and a personal statement. Personal statement is a really great way to just shine through as more of an individual and let us know a little bit more about you and your passions and interests. So transcripts, letter of recommendation and personal statement are those top three when it comes to applying to Gannon. And for student life at Gannon, this is a typical eerie day, snowy day. We get that lake effect snow since we are right off of Lake Erie, but obviously our students here are making the most of it. So we love to see that. It is sunny here now. So we're kind of getting out of that winter weather. But on the student life side of things, we love seeing our students get so involved with clubs and organizations. There are over a hundred active clubs and organizations from Greek life to service opportunities. If you're interested in leadership, we have student government. If you're interested in event planning, we have the activities programming board some organizations that are more academic focused, and then we are division two for athletics, for varsity. And then we also have club and intramural sports as well. And another big way that we see our students get involved is with campus ministry, going on service trips that either travel domestically or abroad. And then we do offer study abroad semesters as well. So a lot of good ways to get involved on campus, but also off campus if you decide to travel in some capacity through Gannon. And now I'll leave it open for questions. Um, but yeah, just to wrap up, we are currently open for in-person visits, campus visits and tours. So if anyone was looking to visit here in the next couple of weeks or coming months even, we are happy to welcome you and give you the full experience, show you all the facilities on campus. So uh, let me know if you have any questions, but thank you so much for your time. Wonderful, and thank you so much to Gannon University for taking the time to join us. And now we are going to hear from Point Park University. Thank you. Let me just get this started. All right, so welcome to Point Park University, well, virtually. Um, just some quick facts about the university. We are a private university located right in the heart of downtown Pittsburgh. Uh, our student body, we have about 3,200 undergraduate students and 900 master and doctoral students. Um, we have five schools, you can see there. Um, we do offer 79 bachelor degrees as well as 20 graduate degrees. Um, we are not just rep represented by the United States population, uh, but a global pop uh, population as well. And we'll have a vast alumni network that spans not just across the country, but across the globe. Uh, when it comes to internships, I know this is the most important part to pair with your academic experience. We do have internships uh, available of all types. Uh, this is just a list of the few places that we have had students uh, do internships. You can see uh, with this, us being located right in downtown Pittsburgh, you have a lot of uh, variety and options uh, that you can do for those internships. As you go forward, if you want something more serious or a little bit more uh, on the job, we do have our co-op education program available for our juniors and seniors that are interested. 
Uh, you do get, it's a paid full-time temporary employment uh, with a corporate university sponsor. Uh, they will give you real world experience uh, in your defined major. So if you, when you sign up for this, you'll be assigned with a company nonprofit uh, that fits your major and your, your work interest after graduation. And it'll lead to meaningful business connections uh, that may lead to permanent employment after graduation. Uh, and for doing this co-op placement, you do get uh, six college credits. So that's a nice added bonus there. Uh, if you're interested on in living on our downtown campus, uh, we do have a thousand plus students that do live at our campus. We do guarantee housing all four years. Uh, we do have first year dorms, which are right now Lawrence Hall and Thayer Hall. We have sophomore level suites, as well as apartments for our upperclassmen. All of our dorms have free cable TV, uh, free laundry facility, and free Wi-Fi. And like I said, being in downtown Pittsburgh, you do have the opportunity that you are close to your jobs, internships, and sporting events and a lot of activities to do around the area. If after the classroom, we do have a very active student life on our campus. We have 50 active clubs and organizations. Uh, we have an online student life calendar that'll tell you what's going on. Uh, we do have an activity shuttle on the weekends that'll take you to different locations. So you can have uh, a few hours off campus if you want to. We do have the student center for fun and serious workouts. We do have a full weight, set, uh, weight room with uh, cardio equipment, cable weights, as well as free weights. And around when you go out to surrounding businesses, a lot will accept Point Park IDs for discounts. Athletically, we are part of the NAIA Division II. We do have 18 uh, varsity athletic programs. Because we are NAIA Division II, uh, we, do, we do offer partial uh, athletic grants scholarships uh, based on the coach's discretion. So that is available for some of our student athletes. Study abroad, if you are interested in studying abroad, we do have three options. You can go to one of our sponsored locations. Uh, you can set up a, your own independent uh, program, or you can do what they do here in the picture. Uh, they can do an international trip with faculty. When it comes to financial aid, all of our non-conservatory students uh, will receive a academic scholarship worth anywhere between 14 and $20,000 a year for our freshmen. And if you plan to transfer into the university, you'll also receive uh, anywhere from 10 to $16,000 a year in merit scholarship for those transfer students. For those of you that are interested in the conservatory, we have our artistic achievement awards that you can get based on your audition. And those range anywhere from three to $25,000 a year. And if you do have a very good academic standing from what you've uh, given us when you applied, you may qualify for an additional $5,000 Dean's Academic Award uh, that adds another 5,000 per year. When it comes to applying, we do have two applications. You can apply through our website or you can apply through the Common App and just list Point Park. We do have two application types. We have a traditional application where you supply us with your official high school transcripts and SAT test scores, or you can apply test optional where all we need are your official high school transcripts. For our transfer students, we just need you to complete our online application on our website and submit any uh, transcripts from any previous post-secondary institutions. For those that are interested in the conservatory performing arts, uh, you can see that what you will have to do to get uh, artistically admitted there for acting, the, uh, musical theater, theater arts, you will also have to do a pre-screen to get invited to the live audition. Um, and you can see for the other majors what the requirements are there. So with that in mind, I know it was a quick run through, but I want to thank you uh, for your time. If you have any questions, you can drop them in the chat or reach out to us online at pointpark.edu. And thank you. Have, the have a good night. Thank you so much to Point Park University for joining us. And just as a heads up and reminder, we only have one more institution. So if you have any questions, make sure you get those in as soon as you can. Last, but certainly not least, we are going to hear from Carlo University. Hi everybody, my name is Melanie Gable and I'm an Assistant Director of Enrollment at Carlo University and I am so happy to be joining you this evening. I'm going to give you a little bit of information about Carlo, who we are and what we are all about. 
At Carlo, we are a small, private, Catholic liberal arts university located in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We were founded by the Sisters of Mercy, so we have a very rich history. Um, Sisters of Mercy have roots from Carlo, Ireland, which is where we got our name, and the Sisters of Mercy came to America in the 1800s, really with the mission to serve the poor, the sick, and the uneducated. And that is exactly what they did when they came to America. And they came to Pittsburgh and they looked around and they said, okay, what can we do here to serve the poor, the sick, and the uneducated? They went to work and they did things from founding the Mercy Hospital Systems to founding Carlo University. So we do have a, a very rich history and we are committed to those values of the Sisters of Mercy, values of things such as service, social justice, and we welcome everyone from all different faith backgrounds and beliefs. We do have a very interesting background um, and a really interesting personality, but we do tend to ask our students, you know, what is it about Carlo that made you want to come here? And we always hear the same responses. It's always size, location, and academic programs. Carlo, we are a smaller school. We have about 2,300 students total on our campus from the undergraduate level through the doctorate level. Our undergraduate department is about 1,300 students. Our average class size is between about 15 to 20, and our student to faculty ratio is 10 to 1. We do offer over 50 undergraduate programs of study for students to choose from and many more minors as well. We have a 14 acre campus that's private just to us. It's very serene. Uh, it's very beautiful, very safe. Um, but being a small campus, students really are um, involved in their academic education on campus. Students and professors have great connections. The, the classroom experience with students being only about 15 to 20 in the classroom, everything is hands-on, everything is collaborative. We really focus on that, that really rich educational experience in the classroom. You're never going to walk into an auditorium up to 150 students and be lectured at for an hour and a half and leave. At Carlo, you're a very active participant in your education experience. And that's why students tend to come to small private liberal arts colleges like Carlo, so they can get that very rich experience in the classroom. We are located in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Our location is very unique. You can see our campus here. We are located on Fifth Avenue in the Oakland section of Pittsburgh. Oakland is an amazing location for academics. Um, we are in the academic, medical, cultural, and social heart of the city of Pittsburgh. And because of our location, we are really, really fortunate to be able to really utilize Pittsburgh as an extension of our campus. Um, our students are able to do amazing clinical opportunities, uh, internship opportunities. In fact, our students are leaving with a minimum of about three experiential learning experiences under their belt before graduation. So resumes are packed just because of where we're located in the heart of everything. Like I said, we have over 50 academic programs to choose from, from the professional to pre-professional liberal arts and accelerated programs, but we do have some signature programs on our campus, um, such as our nursing and healthcare professions. Our nursing major is one of our most popular majors on campus. It is a BS, BSN program where students are able to do their clinical rotations at at least eight different locations. We have a biology with cardiac cardiovascular perfusion technology accelerated master's program, which is a very unique, very uh, interesting program where students finish a master's degree in four and a half years. We have some helping professions Things such as art therapy preparation, our early childhood education, uh, psychology and social work where you can accelerate into a master's program. We also have really great creative arts and expression type majors, things such as art. We have an amazing art education. Um, we have communication, creative writing that focuses on poetry, fiction and creative nonfiction in a great English program. And that's just a small list of some of our, our um, signature programs on campus. We have so many more to choose from. Beyond the classroom, we are the Carlo Celtics. We are NAIA Division II. So we do offer athletic scholarships that are combinable with academic scholarships that students could earn. Scholarships are um, based on coaches' discretion as well as roster spots. On top of that, we have so many opportunities for research, for study abroad, um, so many leadership 
scholarship opportunities on campus. It's a really great balance from academics to social and all of those things that really give students amazing speaking points when they sit down for job interviews. Our admissions process, you are assigned a personal admissions counselor upon applying. You can apply for free through the Common App or through Carlo's application at carlo.edu. We work on rolling admissions, so you can apply at any point. Once you send in your transcripts and your application, you are considered ready for review. You can apply test optional, so test scores are not required. Any student that is admitted is also awarded an academic scholarship of some, of some form. And we also offer amazing financial aid on top of that um, in the forms of grant money, institutional grant money, if you qualify uh, and things like that. Get connected with us. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, things like that. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. We would love to have you join us on campus. Fantastic. Thank you so much to Carlo University and all of our institutions um, for presenting this afternoon slash evening. Uh, this is kind of wraps it up for our session. So just as a reminder, there are additional sessions happening this afternoon. Um, and so please sign up for those. You can do so by going to the same website you registered for this one on, strivescan.com slash Ohio. Uh, there is going to be a very brief survey as you exit this uh, webinar. It should only take you just a few seconds to respond. I believe there's about four questions on there. And so please um, do so so that StriveScan can know how to improve these virtual affairs moving forward. And uh, once again, we will have recordings of this session as well as all sessions available so that um, you can get all of the information that you need as you continue to navigate your college search process. So thank you so much again to our representatives and to you students, families, and friends for joining us. We hope that you have a safe evening. Thank you.